Some of you might remember that once appearance of large number of green crop circles created panic across the globe. However, this time problem is not related to the little green men. Scientists have come across an issue whose origin is mainly related to the Earth itself. We apparently remain indulged in issues like termites, small-scale tornadoes, faulty underground foundations of age-old structures having iconic value for human civilization, and cunning people using sticks. While we were preoccupied with trivial things, information regarding discovery of thousands of perfectly circular holes dotting the seabed came to the fore. Who could be blamed for this strange happening? None of the previous culprits contributed towards this gigantic problem. Well, few pertinent questions come to our mind, such as how these incredible anomalies are caused under the water, or do these holes really pose a substantial threat to the existence of human life on the planet? The location where this strange phenomenon occurred is deep inside the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Big Sur in the American state of California. During the research at Maneri Bay Aquarium Research Institute, officials found a vast area in the ocean bed extending up to about 1,300 square kilometers or 502 square miles. The area contains approximately 5,200 pockmarks or pits. On average, dimensions of these pits are up to 175 meters or 574 feet in diameter and 5 meters or 16 feet deep. During detailed studies, it was observed that on the seabed, a large number of small holes or micro-depressions were scattered around the main holes or pockmarks. Length and depth of these micro-depressions or holes measured generally 11 meters or 36 feet and 1 meter or 3 feet respectively. The total number of these holes is considered to be around 15,000. Astonishingly, these all have undisputed circular designs and nobody on the Earth has an idea what actually led to the formation of these holes. One of the most interesting aspects of these holes is the availability of precise information about their age. As per carbon profiling, these holes were formed about 400,000 years ago. By implication, we can simply say that these holes existed even 100,000 years before scientists think that Homo sapiens started to inhabit the Earth. Consistency of these pits is much more important. According to the researchers, there has occurred no change in the structure of these pockmarks for at least 50,000 years. This means that these holes appeared on the shore of California even before any human appeared on the American continent. The history of the inhabitants in these parts can be traced back to approximately 13,000 years. Resultant to the human population, these pits on the seabed are filled with the debris of anthropogenic origins. According to the estimates, one-third of the whole debris consists of plastic trash bags and 18.9 litres or 5-gallon plastic buckets, whereas a fifth portion of hull comprises materials of natural origin like cobalt stones and whale's calves. Some scientists believe that creation of these unprecedented weird holes might be attributed to the release of methane gas. Methane can mix with the water and bubble up, leaving behind these depressions, but it cannot be substantiated with scientific proof as analysis of water chemistry has completely negated the presence of methane traces. So we're all still without any clue and need to find an answer in some other domain. Therefore, some of the researchers attribute this phenomenon to the ocean currents and another group associates it with the intense activities of the animals in the sea. Their assertions are based on the hypothesis that initially these pits were of very small size, however continuous activities of sea animals over the hundreds of thousands of years gradually increased the dimensions of the pockmarks. So far, both hypotheses lack validation. We can find several cases in the sea which can conveniently be attributed to animals, during research activities conducted in 2018 by a team of researchers from National Oceanography Center Southampton, using an underwater robotic craft at a depth of 4 kilometers or 2.4 miles, found approximately 3,500 gigantic depressions. These depressions covered an area approximately equal in size to that of central London. These depressions are situated in an area spread between Hawaii and Mexico, deep on the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. The width of these pits is approximately 2.5 meters or 8.2 feet, whereas these are 13 centimeters or 5.1 inches deep. No logical reason can be discerned which justifies the formation of these pits in geological terms, although scientists assume that the pits have to be taken as footprints of some living beings. However, none of the existing marine or terrestrial species are considered to possibly possess the capability of creating such gigantic footprints at so deep a location in the ocean. 
It would be ludicrous to imagine animals treading and leaving behind footprints at such a depth at the bottom of the ocean, where prevalent environment hardly permits existence of living beings for any time. So far, the largest footprint formed by a mammoth dinosaur has been discovered in Australia. It's 1.75 meters or 5.7 feet long, which means it's just a minuscule one compared with the pock marks. The oceans have so much more to surprise us with. In the latest research, even compared to farthest galaxies existing in space, we can say with authority that black holes in the heavens were discovered much earlier than the discovery of the ocean pits. However, you can be sure that these enormous black holes in the ocean floor do exist, at least mathematically speaking. Teams of scientists working in the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Zurich and the University of Miami used intricate computer models and satellite data to discover unusually enormous funnels formed in the ocean beds. These funnels are similar in all respects to that of black holes found in space. As we already know, nothing in the universe, including life, can escape a black hole. Anything even the minutest in size in the ocean, may it be a living organism or particles of sand and water, can't escape the black holes or ocean funnels. Mostly, these oceanic black holes have been found in the southern portion of the Atlantic Ocean. With their enormous capability to suck in everything, particularly garbage, these oceanic black holes seem greatly benign to the planet. They carry out cleaning of the water and allow trafficking of clean as well as warm water from southern to the northern parts of the ocean. But be aware, as being caught in these holes means a sure death, unless one is lucky enough and larger in size. It's also assumed that although mathematically these marine black holes are not true copies of black holes in space, some of them act as real cemeteries for marine organisms. We're confident that at least some of you must have seen an image of the Great Blue Hole. It was discovered in 1972 by the renowned French oceanographer Jacques Cousteau. He found that quantity of oxygen present in the Great Blue Hole was quite insufficient to allow any organism to survive there or complex life to thrive. Subsequently, in 2019, his grandson Fabian Cousteau, along with billionaire Richard Branson, ventured to descend to the bottom of the Great Blue Hole, which was 124 meters or 406.8 feet deep and 300 meters or 984.2 feet wide. They found it to be the real graveyard of the mollusks in the seabed. Any stray mollusk reaching to the hole experiences acute shortage of oxygen, leading to suffocation and resulting in its death carcasses of mollusks get deposited at the bottom of the hole. In addition to marine animals, extensive activities by human beings have also contributed towards changes in the relief of oceans. In this regard, we can particularly refer to a scar left by humankind on the ocean bed about 70 years ago. Actually, we're talking about Bikini Atoll at the Marshall Islands. Between 1946 to 1958, the United States of America detonated about 23 nuclear bombs in this area. Researchers conducted studies to map traces of explosions on the bottom of the ocean and assessed the magnitude of damage caused by these nuclear detonations. They found an affected area twice the size of New York City's Central Park. The largest crater in the area has an incredibly unusual oblong shape with a diameter reaching to 2,000 meters or 6,560 feet and a depth of 76 meters or 250 feet. Evidence collected by the researchers indicates that the crater emerged as a result of several explosions. These include 15-megaton bomb Castle Bravo and 11-megaton bomb Castle Romeo. Residual radioactive chemical elements of these blasts still persist in the bottom of the crater. Experts believe that none of these mysterious holes pose an existential or a potent threat to human beings and the planet itself. As a matter of fact, the bottom dissolves and ultimately just disappears. For ascertaining the impact, you need not to descend into the bottom of the ocean for collecting the proof, rather working the relevant calculations made in the laboratories would suffice. A scientist, while experimenting in the laboratory by mimicking the accurate chemical composition of the seabed soil and adding seawater to it, observed that the soil starts to dissolve. The seabed is chalk white in color as the major portion of it is covered with calcite. On the Earth's surface, calcite is found in the form of limestone and chalk. However, under the water, calcite is formed from the skeletons as well as shells of marine organisms and calcareous algae. This layer acts as a true airbag for the ocean, as calcite protects the ocean from the carbon dioxide or CO2 which oxidizes its water and destroys coral reefs. A vicious cycle is generated by the imbalance availability of carbon dioxide, increased acidity of the ocean water intensifies the dissolution of the protective layer at the bottom. It definitely results in further enhanced acidification of the ocean. 
Here, the question arises, what will happen if the acidification of the ocean continues uninterrupted? There would be so many aspects related to this issue, but the most crisp and shortest answer is, mankind will cease to exist. It's really difficult to associate the formation of pop marks or black holes in the bottom of the ocean off the coast of California with the phenomenal activity of carbon dioxide. But destructive processes in the oceans amply indicate how delicately our planet is fine-tuned. A minor increase in quantity of any substance, like carbon dioxide in this case, can have devastating consequences for the planet as well as the universe. It's also evident that anthropogenic destructive activity has hit the ebb in both literal as well as practical sense. The whole discourse regarding oceanic black holes gives us a glimpse of hope that global warming can be controlled at the level of the sea. But the most important question is, can it succeed? Please do give your opinion about the million dollar question down in the comment section. We hope you guys enjoyed this video, we sure did. After all, it's not every day you get to learn new things about the incredibly mysterious phenomena plaguing our planet. Although we don't have answers to all the questions, scientists and researchers are working day and night to make sense of these unique events and formations. For more such videos, visit our channel and make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our new releases. We'll be back soon with another video to blow your mind. Until then, take good care of yourself.